What's going on, people? Young Mentor here. Um, was just looking over my videos, wanted to get back into recording uh, some vlogs, and noticed it's been two years since my last video. And I was just looking over it, seeing um, kind of where I left off. And so much has changed within the last two years. Um, and I got so much to talk to you guys about um, that it's been crazy. And uh, I feel like this is something I should be doing and should have never stopped doing. So I'm going to pick it back up where I left off. I think that'll be the best way to continue from here. Looks like the last video was published September 22nd of 2017. We're in 2020 now. Granted, early 2020. But um, it looks like when I left off, um, I had started a landscaping business. I was thinking about start starting a delivery business. Um, I had lost some weight. I was in a hurricane. I bought a truck. I was working out consistently. Um, I had gotten a tattoo, had an anniversary, and I had two kids that were born. So, I mean, a lot has changed since then. I don't even live in the same area anymore. Um, which is kind of pretty exciting for me, pretty exciting to share with you guys. I just feel like there's so much that I have to tell you guys. I'm going to have to break it up into different videos. Um, I do want you guys to stay tuned as best as you can. Kind of ride through with this uh, with me. And um, we'll see where it goes, see how this channel grows, and see what kind of information um, that you guys want to hear about. I got plenty of stuff to talk about um, for the upcoming vlogs. Um, they're going to be a little bit more sporadic um, and not so uh, consistent as before, although I will try my best to be as consistent as possible. But God knows with um, three kids, two of them being two-year-olds, um, life can be a little crazy at times. So um, I just want to uh, see there was a, a couple things. I actually ended up um having four different businesses at one point uh the landscaping business i started a pool service company and a the i did the professional delivery that one that i was talking about in the last vlog that i wanted to start uh we came to terms and i worked uh actually did that for some time and then i still had the young mentor thing going on um and i really want to get into the public speaking arena and kind of this uh self help division so I'm going to do everything in my power to kind of make that happen through these vlogs. Um, and should you guys want me to come in person, um, I will see if I can attach my email to these descriptions down below. And that way you guys can uh, contact me through email should you want to book something with me directly. Um, and so much has changed. I still continue losing weight. Um, don't live in the same area like I was just talking about. Um, that hurricane was so uh, uh, interesting to go through during the time of uh, my twins being born. Um, I still have that truck that I bought, um, but had I've, I've actually gotten rid of a few cars. Um, not that I'm super successful or anything, um, but I did um, go through different vehicles because the truck was primarily for work. Uh, but I did have to end up going to Florida to go get that truck and bring it back to where I'm currently located. Um, I still work out pretty consistently. I actually uh, went and competed in a national physique competition show, um, which I'm really, really proud of. And still uh, have plans in 2020 to compete um, seriously. And um, <clears throat> just from the look of my face um, in my last vlog, from uh, 2017 to now, um, looks pretty dramatic to me. Um, but I'm pretty excited where, as far as I've come in the last two years, I think maybe I could have made a little bit more progress if I would have stayed on top of it. But like, like everything, life happens. And you can have all the plans you want in the world, um, but not everything tends to go the way you want it to. Not all the time, at least. Um, I literally just ordered a camera. I want to take this a little bit more seriously. I got some pointers from some friends um, saying that the lighting wasn't all that great. 
So I'm hoping this is enough. If you guys comment below, let me know. Um, the sound, I know I'm still using the original sound that I was using for my last vlogs, but there should be two microphones attached to the uh, camera that I just recently purchased. I just bought it before I started this vlog. Um, so I'm hoping that helps with the sound. And then the video quality obviously was subpar. So the camera obviously has upgraded uh, video quality recording features, which I'm really looking forward to using. Um, but I figured if I want to be serious and like this channel is called Young Mentor and it's to help people kind of realize it, there's different tasks, there's different things. Um, I feel like I have a wealth of knowledge for my age and I'm trying to close that gap between the mentors that are out there um, that seem to be kind of on the elder side, I'd say 40 plus. Um, and then myself, I'm 34 now. Um, and was, I believe, 32 or 31 when I started the channel. So I'm really looking forward to kind of closing that gap and kind of putting my, my you know, my knowledge out there. Um, whether you find it valuable um, or not, it's kind of up to you. And obviously the channel will do the work for itself, kind of depending on how many views and stuff I have. Um, and, and I really want to be more interactive with my audience. Um, I'd like you guys to give me subjects to talk about. I think that would be a great challenge for me. And um, it also kind of answer any questions that you guys might have or you'd be able to get my perspective on what it is I think about a particular topic that you have a question about. And I think that with an interactive channel, um, you guys will be able to get the um, kind of my experiences and my life um, journeys through um, questions that you may have. Um, I got a, a, what I would consider a wealth of experience for my age. Um, and sure that there's probably other people who have more experience and, and more time doing other things. Um, but I feel like I'm well versed from having served in the military, starting my own business, selling my own business, um, my landscaping business, and then continuing, um, to kind of keep my enterprise going because I still do have a business. Um, under an enterprise uh, and an LLC um, based out of Florida. So, and I'm trying to use these different avenues to kind of grow that business. So the, you know, public speaking, young mentor channel, and also my national physique competition, um, training, traveling, and doing those different things. I still do have um, what some might consider a full-time job. Um, working in Arizona, um, but I am back and forth from Arizona to Florida. Um, let me see. Yeah. So a lot of things have changed. I've gotten a different job. I kind of work for myself on the side now. Um, it wasn't as, as much of a staple. I noticed that kind of being away from Florida and still trying to run my business presented some severe challenges. Um, and it's not that I wasn't able to overcome them. It was just taking a toll on my immediate family, being my wife and kids. And um, my family, you know, back in Florida was trying to help me because I was back and forth from Arizona to Florida so much. And I just didn't want to continue to put people through added stress. And I noticed, you know, through conducting uh, some rigorous financial stuff that it ended up starting to cost me money. So you have to know when to cut ties. Um, and that's what I did with that business. And even though it blossomed into something beautiful when I was working it, um, and it really taught me a lot of different things, um, you have to know when to cut ties whenever it comes to something that you build, something you're creating. If you notice that it's bleeding um, and you don't have a necessary immediate resolution for that bleeding, consider cutting those ties and putting it to an end. Um, and that, to me, you know, just opened up so many opportunities for me to get a promotion here at the job I currently work at in Arizona um, and start taking my fitness way more seriously than before um, and dieting and just stuff that I had put off because I was so focused on growing my business and being a part of that that it really um, made other things take a back seat, um, including my family. Um, so you have to know when to cut ties. Um, again, we're going to have a bunch of different topics. I'd like to do kind of one topic per blog, just trying to get you guys all spun up. I know that there's a lot of ground that I have to cover over the next uh, several weeks and months, um, but I hope that you guys take this uh, journey with me and can see the different things that I went through and kind of see if you can find that jewel in each one of the blogs 
that maybe help, might help you um, in your future endeavors. Um, let's see. As far as an update, all the kids are doing healthy and fine. Daughter's a little sick today, um, but nothing super serious. Um, I'm continuing to train like I'd say I'd say more than an average person would train. Um, is, is the best way I could characterize it. Um, I'm working more. I did promote into a leadership position in my current uh, field of work. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Some, somehow I feel like when I'm leading people, I feel fulfilled rather than just being another pawn in a chess game. I'd rather be a, a, a piece that's important to the puzzle than just another pawn. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's uh, kind of on an individual basis, and you have to kind of learn yourself through trying different things. I noticed that when I initially joined the military, I didn't think that leadership was necessarily for me. And I think I've talked about this in previous vlogs, but I thought that doing, you know, I joined the military to do finance and I wanted a cubicle and I didn't want to be bothered and I just wanted my own space and basically to do what I would consider white collar work. Um, and long story short, and through trials and tribulations, I found out I love leadership. Um, it's something that I need to consistently do, both um, as a husband and in my family and at my work. It really helps me feel whole as a person. Um, also, I noticed that the, I like to be out there. So as far as doing desk work, I really don't look forward to it anymore. Um, and those are just things that you're going to try as you develop your skills and you go through life and starting out with, you know, as, as early as elementary school and kind of seeing the different fields that you have interest in um, and, and kind of developing those skills and seeing where you go. And then in high school, you know, you have to make certain decisions in order to get into certain places that you want to go, whether it be the military, whether it be uh, community college, Ivy League college. There's lots of steps you have to take in order to get there, but kind of figuring out who you are along the way and your interest is crucial. And I can't stress it enough how important it is to how important it is to do the things that you actually enjoy doing, um, rather than working for a paycheck. Um, and I've been fortunate and unfortunate at times in my life to have had debt and not have debt, and I realized that not money isn't always the answer um, and it's better to do the things that you like and enjoy doing for less money than to sell kind of your soul for something that you don't enjoy doing it just it, it really came through me through experience and i kind of learned that I've, I've always kind of grown up a little bit quicker than i probably should have and i should have enjoyed life a little bit more um i was told that around 10 years old i was asking about utilities um having to do with rental properties um, because I was kind of introduced to it from a good friend of mine, um, and he's a uh, vice president of a big realty, um, industrial realty company. So those are questions I think a 10-year-old shouldn't necessarily be asking. Maybe I should have been enjoying life more. But you kind of get to reflect on those things and realize that everything that I thought that I wanted, uh, you know, a desk job, a, a typical 9-to-5, and I did it. Just to make sure that it wasn't for me. Um, and that's what I encourage all you, all you guys to do is try different things, figure out what you think might work for you, um, and give it a go and give it your best effort. Um, I keep watching motivational videos. I have a lot of motivational icons out there that I like to follow and I like to mimic. Um, and something I picked up from them is how you do anything is how you do everything. So, any task that you do, you should put 110% into it um, because that's essentially how you're going to and how you should do every task um, and all tasks. So keep that in the back of your mind. Just make sure that you're tackling those, tax, those tasks to the best of your ability. Um, uh, that being said, you might catch little uh, errors here and there, a lot of ums. I'm kind of nervous. With this first vlog, when I was talking to people about getting going, um, it, it's kind of like a 
a vulnerable feeling. And the best way I can explain it is try and record yourself. Try and talk to a camera when nobody else around. I had thoughts of bringing somebody else on and I may do it. We're kind of like a guest or like a co-host. Um, but we'll see. And the best way I can describe it is try and do it yourself. Try and just make a at home video of yourself talking to a camera and you'll realize what I'm talking about when it makes you feel exposed and vulnerable and um, all the other feelings that you're going to get. But I feel like this information, it's about time I get caught up with vlogging. I feel like it's something that I have to do, that I have to put that information out there. Even if it's an oversaturated market, I do this because I enjoy it. Um, if something pans out because of it, then great. Mm -hmm. But if something doesn't, then oh well, I'm doing it because I enjoy it. Um, so you won't see any edits from these videos. And I'm getting a phone call right now from my wife, and I don't mean to be ignoring it, um, but I can call her back here in a minute. And I'll constantly get interrupt interruptions on this. Um, you guys will notice there's a treadmill behind me. It's just I'm trying to take my fitness journey a little bit more serious. There's awards behind me. Um, Right to my right, it looks like to the left on the camera. And uh, this is the office that I have uh, set up in Arizona. A little bit tighter quarters um, than the office I had in Florida. But so be it. You got to work with what you got. And that's something that I'm coming to figure out each and every day. The different things that you have, um, different tools that you have, is kind of what you have to use to get to where you want to go. Um, and, and really let that sink in for a minute. Because you're not given every tool to make everything happen. Sometimes you have to use ingenuity. And I know I've talked about resourcefulness in prior vlogs and how important that is. And sometimes it's a difference between um, failure and successes, how resourceful you can be with the tools you're given. Even if you don't have all the tools to conduct a certain mission, sometimes you got to be ingenious and think of different ways to accomplish that task. So don't be, ashamed, don't be ashamed or shy to take on a new challenge and try different things. I definitely wouldn't be where I am today and make all the progress that I feel like I continue to make on a yearly basis, monthly basis, and weekly basis um, unless I put forward a serious effort and work with the tools that I do have and trying different stuff. Um, I think the definition of insanity is doing something over and over again and expecting a different result. So if something doesn't work, try something else. Um, it's as simple as that. And if that doesn't work, then just continue to try something else. I think if you looked at the amount of times that um, uh, they worked on the light bulb to try and get it to turn on, it's countless failures. And they just continued to push, and so many patents came out of it that um, the inventor of it ended up becoming rich off patents that had to do with the creation of the ultimate end product. So you never know what the end result is going to be. Just continue to work towards it and bring those things into fruition by hard work and dedication and continuing to do the things that you have to do on a daily basis. So again, we'll continue to talk. I see this one running a little long. I'm just trying to get you guys all caught up. Um, as we continue to do this, I'll try to get you guys spun up, leaving off with um, probably the where I left off in my last vlog and course of the course of what's happened over the last two years, um, all the transitions that have taken place um, from vehicles, people's cars, locations. Um, there's just so many different variables that have happened um, in between then and now. So I'm looking forward to talking to you guys about it. Um, I'm looking forward to getting your guys' feedback. Also, like I said, I want to make this an interactive channel. So if you guys want topics that you want me to discuss, leave it in the comments below, and I will gladly tackle it with the to the best of my ability. Um, and if I don't know something, I tend to research uh, the crap out of it until I can become somewhat uh, knowledgeable in that particular field. Um, and I'm not a, a afraid to take on that challenge. So again, thank you guys for staying tuned in. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below. Thank you for subscribing. And uh, be sure to share the channel with your friends. I'm trying to go grow this as publicly as possible and hopefully be able to talk to kids at schools. Kind of always been a, a dream of mine to stand in front of crowds of people 
and give the same information that I'm giving to you guys because uh, I feel like um, it may help um, get through to different people um, in different areas and different uh, uh, times of their lives. So again, thank you guys for subscribing. I look forward to the future vlogs and uh, look forward to making more videos. Thanks again.